What's up guys, this is Zeus with Western Slope Bigfoot. Uh, I'm out check, scoping some areas out. There's still quite a bit of snow out here. And I just happened across this. This is uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool right here. I, I haven't been out all, all winter long. Uh, it's, <laughs> you can see it's still got a bunch of snow and it's like 57 degrees we keep getting snowed out but this is an incredible structure here but anyway guys i thought i'd get out a little bit today and uh kind of scope it out and see what's going on and see what i can find and uh still a lot of snow you know i'm hoping to get a bit more video for you guys um uh, you know, and I, I, I document stuff like this. This is all part of the research. You know, you document all these tree structures and people argue that they're not Sasquatch. I know better. I've done it for long enough to, to know better. And uh, I'm about probably three miles off the main road, kind of checking out a back road. And you can probably hear the cars a little bit back there. But, um, yeah, you can see it's like, it was like a good foot of snow still in different places. But uh I yeah, I, prom I promise you this isn't this isn't human. And they got the one the one stick, you know, one small stick coming off the side. Another thing I noticed right here. There's a little pile of of a, uh, I had to adjust that a little bit. Sorry, guys. A little pile of uh, sticks right there. That's cool. I know I said I was going to quit smoking, but it's hard. <laughs> but what's funny, though, is whenever you find these structures, there seems to always be one stick that comes off and uh, extends out from the structure. It's, it's really cool. And this, this main stick that everything's stacked on is a, it's a little fork stick. And they, they do that. <laughs> they use those little fork sticks to integrate into everything. And it's kind of wild actually. Looks like there's some some uh, sticks in here. A few of them have been cut off. Old, old, been cut off with a saw. But they still use those kind of sticks, you know what I mean? I'm out here recording on my phone. I'm currently selling pins and, and uh, uh, hat clips, little Sasquatch hat clips, all handmade, laser cut. If you can see that or not, I sell those little clips. They clip onto the hat. Those are 16 bucks. Pins are seven bucks, plus about 450 shipping and handling. And that's that's kind of going towards fundraising my for my equipment. I need a better camcorder. I'm on my cell phone right now. I got a camcorder, but it's. It's, it was good at first, but then it just seems like the quality kind of went downhill a little bit. That's what you get when you pay 300 bucks, I guess. But I need a, what the hell is this huge hole here? Sorry guys, I'm sinking like a foot half in snow. Huh, big, huge hole. funny you know you're three miles away from the the road and he sounds like they're they're right up on you <laughs> it's just echoing off these mountain walls i guess yeah but 
I've been itching to get out here and get some stuff on video for you guys. I'll catch up a little bit. I know the winters are bad where I'm at. 8,000 foot elevation. Winters are fierce. <coughs> That's where I walk. I believe underneath this snow here, there's some kind of a, a hut that's been, uh, like they made a roof. That's freaking crazy. Yeah, it goes down in underneath there. Yeah, I guess I better watch where I step. <laughs> and there's that huge gaping hole, but then there's this and again, you got your your little fork tree there. That's crazy. And uh, it looks like it goes underneath. Like, if you were to scrape that off. I'm not stepping right there. That's deep. I bet you that's way steep in snow. Oh, my mom. That's, uh, that's, uh. Freaking nuts. I wonder what's up with that. Huh. Oh, I think I just see another structure. I gotta walk around this though. Let's hope I don't fall through a gaping hole. Look at how deep the snow is. My knee. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's so deep. <laughs> I think I see it. I think I see another structure of some sort back in here. Oh my god, I I just I'm seeing more structures. See that some kind of hot area? I'm currently in the middle of a, buying a, look at that little structure right there. Keep in mind, and no humans back here. And there's this little, one log coming up off that. Little, little structure, it's like another, Big hole. Look at this. Huh. I wonder if there's not another structure of some sort under there. I see more logs peeking out of the snow. ground there as I walk through here and this is one great big roof and I smash through it <laughs> I'm wondering if these Sasquatch don't hide in these holes peek their heads up and over and look at people if there's anybody around here, you know, walking. That's, oh, that's pretty amazing. Oh, look at this little. What's up with that? That's cool right there. Went to these little sticks. Stacked up there. I gotta go. I gotta. Sorry, guys. I gotta go back look in this hole. This must be an active area. The further I walk back towards this way, I, I get a bit nervous. 
what is up with these big holes? And it almost looks like there's a X structure right there. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Let me walk back up where I was gonna show you. This is these crazy holes all over the place. Big holes, little holes. Somebody was up here way back in the day. That's home. Look at this, guys. Wow. It's all important. You go out Sasquatching. You document this stuff, you know? This is this is stuff that they do. Whether it be a blind just for watching, hunting blind to ambush uh, prey. No, it means something. This is this is what they do. I'm telling you, man, this is what they do. It's incredible. Who come? Who'd come way out here just to do that? Then you got this. This is incredible. Fall in one of these crazy holes that are all over out here. I don't know if the squatch have moved back in here yet. I got a feeling it's any any time now that they're gonna move back in. Hey, you sure hear that traffic down there? Three miles from the road. Incredible. But I get all this stuff on documents, on uh, documented because you know, anything Sasquatch, you want to document it. You know, some people are, you know, they, they got to criticize. They got to act like jackasses and say, oh, it's just a, you know, a, a structure researcher. All they find is structures. Well, that's good. You're finding evidence of Sasquatch. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. You got to find evidence of Sasquatch. And you document it. Footprints, structures, anything Sasquatch related, you document it. You know what I mean? And uh, don't listen to any of the haters because they're, they're going to hate. You know, like me, I know what I'm doing. I am definitely not no Bigfoot expert. I hate it when people say they're a Bigfoot expert because if you're a Bigfoot expert, then uh, why ain't you uh, shaking hands with one right now? You know what I mean? Why ain't you, why ain't you, you know, finding him, observing him firsthand, close up, right away? So, I do not call myself a Bigfoot expert, but I do find a lot of evidence, and I've got a lot of theories, and uh, that's all they are, are theories, and uh, sometimes they seem like they're pretty correct, but I don't know. All I could do is try to educate people along with myself, you know? So it's just the educational process. And, you know, if these if these Sasquatch are in this area, they're doing a very good job of of staying off this uh, snow and stuff. But I share everything that I find. Oh, that's an old Pepsi can. So that's been back here forever. There's moose. There's a moose track right there. I can see the moose track. I have moose back in here. Those damn moose, you know. It's, uh, that's the ones that freak me out because, you know, they, they're the most aggressive. They'll come after you. A bear isn't, though, isn't the worry. It's those damn... It's those damn moose, you know. <clears throat> 
Well, anyway, guys, um, I got some stuff documented for you. Um, I thought I just heard something. Anyway, I got uh, I got some stuff documented for you. I'm going to uh, move along and see if I can find another little area that I can find some structures, maybe some footprints, maybe <laughs> a little less snow because it's, it's, it's 9 or 10,000 feet up where I'm at right now. So you can see the, the mountains, little mountains in the back. Oh, they're not little. These mountains in the background, you know, those are hitting, you know, 12, 13,000 feet. Uh... Here in Colorado, those uh, timber lines are just above 11,000 feet a little bit. So I also got my uh, parabolic microphone too. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll get back at you. What's up, guys? I'm back. Where's this little Bigfoot? Another interesting little structure here. That's cool. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna move on, see what I can find. Mm -hmm. 